Good morning everyone. This is Teresa. Um, <clears throat> I'm from Australia and I've been doing Stampin' Up! 13 years, going into my 14th year. For those that don't know me, um, I love to mix and match my stamps and um, I love to do cards. And um, today, this afternoon, is my last radiation treatment for my cancer and I'm so excited about that. Um, it's meant to be this morning but they cancelled because they're having power problems at the hospital so it gives me the opportunity to do another video before I go this afternoon. Today um, we're going to be working with the beautiful Royal Peacock stamp set. Um, this was one that I bought before I got, received, before I got cancer um, and I received this stamp set and yeah didn't get to play with it and that was frustrating so um, yesterday I had a little bit of a play and um, yeah, so today we're going to make some make a card with this or finish putting some cards together and just show you how you can mix and match this stamp set. Now I've actually mixed and matched it with the um, Soft Springs stamp set. Um, this is a host stamp set. So if you um, host a workshop, you're entitled to get this stamp set. Um, and I just love it. It's just... I love lavender and I just love that this works in so well with the Peacock stamp set. The other one that I really love is the Positive Thought um, stamp set and with the um, ferns and that works in really well too. So we're going to um, share a little bit of how to mix and match. We're also going to use the Stamparatus today so that's a bit exciting isn't it? Um, so that's a good thing. So I'll just um, bring the camera down so we'll move it down and I'll go through the products that we're using today. So our little, one of our little freebies that we're using from our celebration is the um, beautiful um, sequence. Um, I haven't used the twine yet but we're going to be using the sequence. Um, the other thing that we'll be using today is our Memento Black Ink and our Soft Sea Foam. Uh, it's beautiful green one so we'll be using that one the lovely lipstick and we're going to use some blenders as well so we're going to use the light and the dark uh, ro the roco rose I always pronounce that wrong for some reason I don't know why but I do and the light night of navy and the dark old olive we're also going to have some of uh, the um, peacock um, sequence, um, rhinestones I mean, they're beautiful so we're going to add some of them as well. You'll need some dimensions um, for this. The Tombow glue, the snail, pick tool if you have one is great for picking up your sequence, um, it's really handy. Your bone folder for scoring your card, your embossing buddy because I'm going to share some tips with the um, Stamparatus on how to use that with the silicon mat, your silicon mat and the Stamparatus. With your stamp set you will need some blocks as well. So let's get started on this beautiful card. So I'm going to, um, I've just had all this sitting over there and it's sort of stuck to the paper but that's okay. I'll pull that down. Okay so to line up your um, peacock, we're going to actually use the silicon mat. Now, I love to use the silicon mat for two reasons. I just put a little bit of the um, magnet there. My magnet's broke, so be very careful because when they click together or they drop, they do break and they become very sharp. So you do have to be very mindful of that. You can buy replacement ones, um, but yeah, I just use that. So that the paper doesn't move, I'm going to actually add some snail to the back. And I'm going to add that onto my silicon mat. Then I'm just going to check that I've got this in the right spot because um, every time we do it, we can do it in a different spot. So I'm just going to check this. Just a little bit more further down with um, the card. So we'll just bring that down just a little bit. That's perfect. 
We're going to die cut around the um, peacock. So um, we're going to use the Memento Black Ink first. If you add a stamp pad just underneath your, um, your plate here, it will hold it firm for you while you're inking up. So we're going to come in with our Memento Black Ink on our peacock. Has anyone got the stamp set? I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, just leave me a comment. I'd love to, um, yeah, see what other people have done with these too. Okay, so that didn't stick down really well, but it normally sticks really well. Then we're going to add um, the lovely lipstick. We're going to oh, just put our plate in this side. Now, I never take it for granted that um, because I've made a lot of cards and I've moved my products around a fair bit, that it's going to sit in the right place. So I always measure it up again, just to make sure. Um, because when you're moving your, all your stuff around, it quite easily can slip out of place. And um, yeah, we want it to fit exactly where it's meant to fit. So I line it up over my stamp image. So always make sure you've got a nice clean stamp. This one looks a little bit dirty because the lovely lipstick stains it, but it's not dirty, it is clean. So we're just gonna pick that one up. And we're gonna come down with the um, lovely lipstick and I'll just show you what I was talking about. If you just pop that ink pad underneath there, it gives a little bit of support. So we're just gonna open up our ink. These are all nice new ink, so they're um, a little bit on the stiff side. And I just have a tissue over here that I'm going to just wipe around the outside there. Okay, so we're going to come down with that in between. Now, I've gone with the lovely lipstick because the raccoon um, rose, I said it right this time, um, is a lighter colour. And it will go over this really lovely. So we'll be able to blend it really lovely. Okay. Now, if you're going to take this off and it's still sticky, you can use your embossing buddy and just come over your snail. And it will take the stick off. So that's another little tip that's really, really good. Okay. So now you can actually colour um, your peacock. And we're going to use some blenders. Just take these out when you're um, stacking them up. I'm just going to leave that on for the moment. Okay, so we're going to colour this in and we're going to use um, the blenders that I've pulled aside. So we're going to come in with our light raccoon rose. I might even be saying that wrong. It's what happens when you're dyslexic. Some things are a little bit hard to pronounce at times, but that's okay, we still get by. Okay, so we're gonna come down into our feathers. And this can take a little bit of time. So you can add different colours to it. So we'll come in and do the dark one as well, which will be on the rest of the bird. I just um, love the peacock. The peacock's really lovely. So we're going to come in with the darker one and we're going to bring that in under the stomach. And just in here. And on the face. You can add it on the little tops here. Then you're going to add your blue and your, your green. And I did one a little bit earlier, just so that we could save some time and cut it out. So you can see that um, I've added the blue and the green in here and coloured it in and we're just going to come back now that it's dried off a little bit and bring in a little bit more of the dark 
in around the tummy area and just in these few little areas leave the face light okay so I've gone back over with the dark in between all the little um, feathers here which is really lovely so let's see what we're, else we're using for this card <coughs> excuse me I've got a dry throat so I'm gonna have a mouthful of my tea so this is just half a sheet of your A4 paper <coughs> it's cut at ten and a half and then scored up so we're going to add our black onto it so our black cardstock is 10 by 14 so I'm going to snail that onto it I love um, using black and white it, it pops everything out I'm also going to use this the poppy paper um, you could use either side but I'm actually going to use this side because it goes in quite well with um, the peacock that I've done so I'm gonna stick that down now you can make your own backgrounds as well and I will we'll go through a little bit of that like by adding another stamp so this one's just adding some designer series paper and then on the inside I like to also add a black which is this, the same size as the other black we just measured which is 10 by 14 and then our white piece that goes on the inside is 13.5 by 9.5 and you can add sayings to this if you want to or you can keep it um, plain it's up to you if you do lots of markets and um, school fates I find it um, better not to actually put anything in it but just take along some stamp sets um, with you and that way people can you can add it in at the market um, I always find when I'm doing something like that people want a happy birthday when I've got it as a happy anniversary or they want an anniversary when I've got it as a get well so um, I find it better to just do it at at the um, market or the fate. So, okay, we're going to place that down there, and we're going to bring our peacock in over the top here with some dimensions, and we're just going to put a little word in here. So, um, we've got lots of words with um, these stamp sets. And I think we're going to go with, um, so very proud of you, hmm. well you did it, I think you did it, it's just a little word, um, which is quite nice, or you are incredible, is another one, which I've used before, but um, I think I might use that one again, because I have some incredible team members that I can give these, hand these out to, so... I like to um, also just line these up on the grid paper. I love our grid paper. Um, it's it's just so easy to work with. You can work with your cards centered if you want to. So you sort of got your points if you're a person that really, really likes things lined up. Um, you can do that, you can line them up. But we're gonna use a bit of Memento Black. And we're going to go with your incredible and we're just going to pop that in there now the reason I'm actually stamping it in before I put the dimensions on the peacock is so that the um, block goes down nice and even okay so we have our big dimensions and our small dimensions but we're going to use our big ones today and just pop a few on here
it's um, not as smoky outside today, which is really good. Um, and we've had a lot of rain here in Victoria. So um, being close to the bushfires, um, yeah, we've had a lot, a lot of smoke, but it has traveled all the way down to Melbourne. Um, but up here in, um, we're in the Bulbore Shire, uh, which isn't that far away either. So I'm just gonna pop this down in here. So beautiful use in the designer series paper, coordinating in with the um, colors, which is really gorgeous. The um, peacock card looks beautiful and also just putting a little mat on the inside is beautiful. So that was one of our cards. I just want to share another one. Um, this one I actually stamped using the um, soft spring stamp set. This is the hostess one. And um, I actually put the little lavender over here and changed the color of the peacock into the pumpkin pies and the pinks and the greens. And it's just beautiful. And that's the peacock green. And add some sequins, which is free in our celebration. So with your $90 order, you can um, receive some of them for free, which is beautiful. And we're just gonna snail this on. The measurements of all these cards are the same. So um, they're all the same size. And we're using the pretty peacock um, card stock as well. So you can sort of see um, adding the white paper inside. So you can sort of see this is gorgeous as well. So it doesn't matter what colors you do, you get these beautiful, um, beautiful cards. Now I've done a couple of others and I've used the die cut on this one. This one I did in a beautiful black foil. And I used, this is our free, another free. This is the Lily free paper from the celebration designer series paper and I've used that so much I've actually got the free lily paper on here and the free sequence. Now the ribbon I actually coloured um, into green. Uh, it's our white ribbon and I've just used the old olive blender um, to colour it up which is really beautiful and I just love the the fact of the shine on this as well it's just beautiful. So that's another one of our beautiful peacock ones. Now this one I use um, where I cut that out. I've actually put this over the top. Um, no, I didn't because they went reversed. I had to use a, a new piece of paper I was going to. That was my